Hi everyone, it is Earth Day and it's Wisdom Wednesdays. I'm Ariana Newcomer, Dove Oracle Priestess, Biofield Tuning Practitioner and Spiritual Mentor. And uh, it's also the new moon. So we have Earth Day, the new moon and Wisdom Wednesdays all on one day. Today I am offering a prayer that instead of having one Earth Day every year, that we make every day Earth Day. Because the truth is that we need that. We need to be conscious and aware and awake and treating Earth with care and love every day, not just one day a year, or we're not gonna survive as a species. Uh, it's been very interesting in the midst of this pandemic, which of course is very stressful and uh, causing a lot of grief and difficulty, financial difficulties, health issues for many, many, many people. And I don't mean to make light of that. However, there have been wonderful results for, for the planet, for our climate, for nature. Uh, waters are becoming clear. The canals in Venice are clear without all the boat traffic from the tourists. Uh, fish populations are reviving because people are not out overfishing now. And in cities, uh, people are able to see in Delhi, in uh, India, uh, without the smog. It's extraordinary. People in northern India can see the Himalayas instead of not being able to see them because of smog. And think about the health results from that, not having the smog in LA, same thing. You know, without the smog, people can see, but also people can breathe. People are not getting all those fine particulates from the smog, which go into our lungs and damage our lungs and damage our health. In, same, in New York City. My older brother lives in New York City, so I'm happy for him that he's under less stress from pollution there because that's one of the things that can make this coronavirus more dangerous, is already having damage in the lungs. And so what if, as we're going forward, we can actually continue some of this healing that's taking place on the planet because human activity has been shut down quite a bit. Our polluting has been reduced dramatically. And this is of great value. So I invite us all to become more conscious about this and start thinking about, okay, as we're going to be moving back into regular life, how can we make that continue this healing that has happened for Earth? And without the smog, also, of course, the plant life is going to be happier too, because they're not getting the, the coating of fine particulates, and they're able to breathe, because plants breathe too. They just breathe in carbon dioxide, but they exhale oxygen. So it's healthier for us humans if the plants are better able to do their respiration, their breathing as well. So what if, what if we could make every day be Earth Day? What if we can come into right relationship again with Earth, which is our home? And as a lot of postings and, and media things have pointed out in, today, there is no planet B. <laughs> there is no planet B. This earth is our home. So what if we let go of these cultural stories that we have had about man having dominion over the earth and uh, conquering nature? What if we can let go of those stories and replace them with the story that we are part of this web of life on earth and that we don't survive without this web of life on earth. If we kill off everything else on the planet, we're gonna be gone too. So uh, 
and one of the things that's interesting too is a lot of us talk about saving the earth saving the planet and i remember hearing a canadian scientist talk about this and i apologize i don't remember his name but he has a, a famous show tv show in canada and he said the planet isn't dying gonna die we will humans will the planet's going to go on the planet's going to evolve and have some other species on the planet and so as devastating as this novel coronavirus has been for us as humans perhaps it has these very very important lessons for us and let's think too about the idea that this is a man-made virus that's deliberately being used to you know create totalitarian regimes and and make us submit to greater controls remember that these kinds of events have happened on earth many 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 times in history earth has created viruses before <laughs> that have had devastating effects on human populations and bacteria these are naturally occurring things on earth and so it's possible that this is a naturally occurring virus that has been created by earth and perhaps it is a messenger and perhaps it is earth healing herself in some ways and if we can learn these lessons and if we can open ourselves to letting go of our polluting ways of life and noticing you now the other thing that's been a real wonderful aspect of this is notice how quickly we can actually take action when we all agree and we decide that we want to so we have looked at this issue of climate change as oh there's nothing we can do but it. it's too big it's too much and yet here we are we have done something about climate change in the context of doing something of about this pandemic to help us stay healthy and stay well and keep living so we notice we've seen this pandemic as a great threat to humanity but perhaps because climate change has been happening so gradually over so many years we don't we haven't seen it as this big threat but it actually is an existential threat to human life on earth so my prayer for this earth day is that we begin to see and behave and treat every day as Earth Day, and that we each begin to do even more of the little things that can help, like we drive less, we stop using disposable little coffee cups, those K-cup things, we make sure we use less plastics, we don't throw our stuff out on the street, we compost at home, we perhaps eat less meat. Um, all these little things that we can do. And then of course, the big things, persuading the big companies and corporations that they have to step up, that it is time for them to stop willy nilly polluting in the pursuit of profits. Because if we all die, there's gonna be nobody to buy their products anyway. <laughs> So we have to start thinking further ahead, folks, it's like the, the native traditions of seven generations ahead and seven generations back. I think about how my actions are going to affect those who come after me. So let us treat this day as the beginning of a series of Earth Days and help to heal Earth in every way that we can as we continue to help ourselves heal with this virus. So see you next time.